What's going on, Shady people? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Black Shady Lock Challenge. Today, we're jumping right back into the Unova region, episode number four. I did do some grinding in between episodes, and I want to show you guys the fruits of my labor. So a lot of you guys suggested that I go back to heal with mom, but uh, I could not do that. I don't like using that heal so early on, even though it is an early heal. I like waiting and using that when we desperately need it mid to late game um, or when we desperately need it. Right now, I don't think we desperately do because I was going, I'm going to use a shady token pretty much no matter what. But our Gengar got to level 11. Uh, I only have 10 licks less, but the Guard of War is in the grass and the fact that I'm paralyzed really made it darn near impossible to do anything else. Uh, then we have Zordon who got to level 10, but couldn't do much more than that, honestly. The scaling... Training in this grass because the scaling is so severe is super, super tough because the only level seven that I was running into is Gardevoir and it kept teleporting. Uh, then we have Henderson who's level 11 and really has the HP going for him. What, I'm, what I really would like to try to do, I'm gonna put Henderson out front. And what I would really like to try to do is catch another Pokemon before we use our Shady token. So we're gonna do a little bit of exploring in Strides in town today. If you have Pokeballs, don't be shy. Take this with you, a great ball. That could be, uh, that could be a real good thing. That could be a real good thing. The beginning of my relationship with my wife was our Pokemon battles. I could not defeat her, even though I tried many times. My husband and I are compatible, but he, because he cannot beat me in battle. So you just like, she she wanted to spend her life with a loser. Your family must be talking about you right now. Why'd you say that? Hi, traveling trainer. Oh, that's, that's a weird thing to say. Um, I went abroad to have Pokemon battles. Thank you guys again, once again, for all the support all the support on the series so far. I know it's only episode four, and I know that uh, you guys will probably taper off as the series goes on, but some of you won't. Some of you are freaking pumped for this, as I am, uh, and I thank you so much for sticking through with me. After battle, to my surprise, my Pokemon evolved and changed its appearance. Some evolve and some don't. Pokemon really are mysterious creatures. You can't go upstairs now, because Fennel said she was testing something and she had a scary look on her face. Fennel, I believe Fennel is our Gosh, diggity darn gym leader. So I know there's a static Pokemon to the right, but more importantly than a static Pokemon, is there any grass? This is Dream Yard. I don't think there's any grass available to us yet. I think we have to beat all the trainers. Okay, I was hoping that wouldn't be in a uh, training, training, battling uh, position, distance, but I guess it was. She's got her thigh showing again. Champion Pie sends out Audino. Audino is a little bit of a problem, but really good experience. Really, really good experience. So we're gonna go ahead and I am going to scratch. I'm gonna scratch, something failed. You tried to do some status to me, didn't you? Okay, so this will be good. I'm actually gonna yawn you. I know that I have my truant right now, but I'm gonna yawn you. Actually, I'm just gonna scratch you, forget it. I'm not even gonna, I'm, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. Let's just go for the double scratch. You're level eight. You're not going to have a recovery type move. That would be insanity if you did. Insanity. There's the refresh. That's what she must have went for before was the refresh. Down goes Odino. How much experience? 713? Oh my goodness. So Henderson's got the team on his back right now. Clamperl. Okay. I'm going to switch out Zordon and then switch into Henderson. Just to give Zordon... A little bit of more, uh, a little bit of more experience. A little bit more experience. Of course, guys, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Doesn't really matter what you say. Um, I just need your usernames to choose my nicknames from. So, Clamper level eight. Zordon is here. Zordon is gone. <laughs> I'm not risking it, man. A lot of some of you guys are asking, uh, am I going to go Guard of War or Gallade? Do I even have a choice? I'm pretty sure I can. Can I can have a male Guard of War, can't I? So I guess I do have a choice. If I find a Dawnstone, I mean, that will help make my choice, but the likelihood of finding a Dawnstone is super slim unless there's like one you can buy, which I don't think, I don't think Dawnstone was purchasable. I could be wrong. I remember it, it's, it's definitely findable, but since the items are randomized, we might not find it. We might not find it. Okay, we get our last scratch in. Clamp Earl is going down. Literally yelling Timber. Hardly got any experience for that. Oh man. I wish, I wish that Zor Zordon had gotten some uh, some of that juicy experience. I think, I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch a new Pokemon before, before I do all this nonsense. Cause I'm not gonna be able to take on all these trainers. And not to mention, I don't want to take on all these trainers with just slacking. 
I really want my team to stay somewhat balanced. Let me see if I'm allowed to go. Let's see, what do you guys got going on here? I too studied at the training school when I was a beginner. If a Pokemon type and move type are the same, the move's power will increase. That's what the gym leader told me. That's called stat type. No, same type attack bonus. Stab. Stab. Okay, how do I get that item? Items are randomized, so I really would like that item. Do I go around here? No. Okay. I don't have a fishing rod yet, so I can't fish in this town, unfortunately. Can I go here? Yes, I can. Ha ha. Survey says, Ice Seal. That's almost a Dawnstone. Really close to a Dawnstone. Like, hyper close. I'm talking, if I stick that in my uh, Gardevoir's face, or Glade's face, nope. Ralts evolves into... What is your name? I picture you. I know exactly what you look like. Lately, I have a favorite model. Her name is Elisa, and her Pokemon are strong, too. You can tell how strong trainers are by the number of gym badges they have. I'm weak is what you're saying. The GTS! It links the world from the... No, no, no one cares about the GTS. This game is dead and buried. This game is dead and buried when it comes to that. I've trained only Fire-type Pokemon because they're my favorites, but they had no chance in a battle against Water-type Pokemon. Huh. It is quite hard to train six Pokemon at once, so I've heard some trainers focus on training three Pokemon at a time. What a good tip for young new trainers. I appreciate it. Did my dog get me in the face today? My dog, I think my pup did right there. I know this, this morning when I woke up, she literally punched me in the eye. It was pretty hilarious. Just pop, quick punch right in the eye and it hurt pretty bad. Okay, so this is not a new area. Will this old man let me go? No, he won't. Darn it. I was really hoping, really hoping that I could get an encounter before we do all this nonsense. Basically before I use my shady token, but it looks like, it looks like I am going to uh, have to use it. So we can't even get up there without Surf. I'm guessing this lady would want to battle me. She doesn't. She just talks about TMs. I, I can't even, I'm just trying to go to the left, man. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to go up there, all right? I wanted to get that item. Is there any items down here? There's gotta be, look at this area. Look at this area, this is item, item city, baby. Greet mail, I can greet you now. Awesome, that definitely should be in the field. That's what we need, is mail. Don't give me a potion. Don't give me none of that good stuff. Give me nothing. All right, so I think we are going. Yep, if you, wait, what did that say? The more gym badges you win, the more items you can buy at a shop. And that's how we get our paralyzed heals. When you have more Pokemon, you're less likely to lose in battles and it's more to look at in your Pokedex and PC box. All right, Nurse Joy, take my shady token. Just take it. We're doing our first heal through. Uh, we didn't use all of our PP, but honestly, the scaling was just too much. And having paralyzed Pokemon was also just too much. So we're going to leave Nappy out front right now. I do want Zordon to keep gaining experience. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I think, what are you saying? Are you looking for the gym leader? He's not here. He could be at the trainer school. If you want to challenge him, please go find him. Okay, so we have to go to the trainer school. But I'm going to go ahead and worry about snagging a new Pokemon partner first. So let's go all the way to the right. We got these battles we got to take care of. I'm not going for a double battle right now. My goal is to outperform gym leaders. Don't care about the rest. Don't care about the rest. Archaeops. Okay, what level are you going to be? You shouldn't be too strong. Level seven, that's pretty, that's actually pretty darn high. That's definitely pretty darn high, and I am not a fan of the way this feels right now. Um, I really don't want Nappy taking a butt ton of damage out the gate. Henderson can hardly touch you. I guess I'm going for a lick. Okay, we do outspeed, because we are Gengar. We snag that para baby, and this all paralyzed. I'm telling you, Nappy's tongue is just, ugh. Oh, so strong. Rock throw. We just missed cutting your attack in half. You know that? We just barely missed it. Once Nappy gets Nightshade, this is going to be smooth sailing. I think Nightshade has a good amount of PP, unless it only has 10. Part of me thinking that it only has 10 right now. Uh, this should be a good amount of experience for us because it is a trainer battle and it is a fully evolved Pokemon. And it's only four levels beneath us as opposed to the nine levels beneath us we were training a level two horsies before. There we go, 252. That's really, that's crazy number to see. It makes me think of Pokemon Gold. Okay, uh, what move should be deleted, replaced with curse? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so, so for some reason, this game is having issues with the text boxes. Uh, Exploud, we do need to switch out. We need to go ahead and go for the, uh, let's go for Henderson. Let's go for Henderson. Oh my goodness. 
Um, let's go with a scratch. You're an uproar, you're gonna do seven damage to me? That's pathetic. That's pathetic! You literally had me in silence over your uproar, Xbox, because all I'm picturing is, good morning! You guys remember that. If not, I just broke your eardrum for no reason, and I apologize. x Cloud goes down to the ground. Henderson growing a level th 13. That's pretty that's pretty sweet. No new moves yet, Henderson. You're kind of slack a lack And Combi, I'm going to go on to Zordon. We're going to let Zordon get a little bit of action in here right now. Just a little bit of action right now. Combi. Combi, Combi. All right, you might have a bug type move. Honey gather. I'm about to gather some honey after this battle. I'm gonna be holding that honey, just watch. Gust only does three. Ah, you don't gotta worry about me. Look at this two hit KO. Look at this, Zordon is a beast. He is a monster. Honestly, Zordon would make a fantastic Gallade. If I find a Dawnstone, you know what? I've decided if I find a Dawnstone, I'm going Gallade. I'm going Gallade. All right, that's another trainer down. Nappy's still looking pretty fresh. I'm gonna put Zordon out front though, cause I don't know what level Nappy's gonna learn like Nightshade. Maybe it's level 13. I have like in my gut for some reason, I'm thinking, I'm thinking level 13. Why don't we just get to 13 with Nappy before we start training Zordon? Hey, hey you, what was the first Pokemon you received? Gengar, really? Then Porygon 2 could be a big... Your Gengar does not do well against grass type Pokemon. That's not true. Do I want a Porygon 2? Yeah. It can use fire type moves. Can it really? We got a Porygon too! I gotta I gotta get the com I didn't realize this was where I was getting the static Pokemon. I could have beaten those two trainers and gotten here. Darn it. It's right, it'll be a full health. Alright, a Porygon 2, that is insane. So I'm gonna go to the last video. I'm gonna go to the comment section on the most recent upload from when I'm recording this. Uh let's see, let's see. I'm gonna. Chester the Cheeto Master, Chester the Porygon 2. I love it. Thank you so much, Chester, for choosing to support the series by leaving a comment and a like on the video. Really means the world to me. Chester the Cheeto Master. If you have many types of Pokemon, something will work out no matter what kind of Pokemon you have to face. Let's check out this Porygon 2. Oh, if it was holding an, uh, a, the correct stone, I'd be so happy. Dream Yard hates to lose. It is a quiet nature. It has Tackle, Conversion, Defense Curl, and Psy Beam. So, not terrible. Has a special attack boosting stat. Um, but we're going to be using, obviously, Zordon for our Psychic type moves. But he's level 10. All right, so we got four Pokemon in our party. That's pretty dope. And we just found ourselves the Metal Coat. Where is my Scyther? Where is my Scyther? So, can I actually go in the Dream Yard yet? I don't think I can. No, we need Cut. That's why that little tree's right there. Okay. Um, hmm, man, if this thing gets recover, our team's gonna be so healthy. We need some variety though. We got two normal types. Uh, okay, we're gonna leave Nappy out front because I do want to see if he levels up. I do want to see if he gains the uh, the Nightshade once he levels up. I don't know if he does, but we're gonna check. Uh, I can't believe we already used the token. I'm like really nervous about that. Let's go to the trainer school and let's get this let's get this thing underway. Ugh, this trainer school exists to meet the demands of trainers who want to know more about Pokemon because they love them. Pokemon have mysterious powers called abilities. Abilities have a variety of effects, and many of those effects are activated when Pokemon are in battle. Okay, so we know we're gonna have to face, I'm pretty positive we're gonna have to face Sharon right now. So let's go ahead and fight him. When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it is battling. Oh, hey Shady, have you come looking for the gym leader? He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few moments ago. Maybe you walked right past them. By the way, Shady, will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battles. Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. All right, so we have ourselves a battle against Sharon. I guess I could have said no to Mark Gliss. I should have, should have said no to Mark, but honestly, the experience will be good. The other day, my sister-in-law's dog got me real good. Look at this, look at that, look at that scratch. It doesn't look serious, but it is. It's really strong battle wound, I'm tough. Oh, Flygon! Well, we do have Levitate still in this generation, right? We are, we are a fantastic Pokemon, yes we are. We have ground immunity, fighting type immunity, normal immunity, ghost immunity. Our team is, our team is honestly fantastic, guys. Our team is looking real crispy. Wow, except for damage output. When it comes to damage output, I am nothing but a uncooked turkey. 
on Thanksgiving morning. That's literally what I am. What a drag. Okay. Ooh, it's a crit. See, you just, Nappy steps up to the plate. If he hears you have self-doubt, he wants to boost your confidence and say, no, no way, man. You got this. I Look at that. Nappy. Insane. It feels good being able to play play a, a game with Nappy without playing a game with Nappy. Like, I love playing games with Nappy. So getting to play a game with Nappy without taking up his time feels pretty good. All right, we did paralyze him, but he ate a gosh darn berry to restore his health. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lick him one more time. Let me get that lick. Lick. Oh, you have faint attack? Okay, there's no way you have pursuit right now. Woo! I was a little scared. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little scared. That was just faint attack, but the... I don't know why the text boxes are being silly in this game. They are being so silly in this game. Man, Gengar taking... Oh yeah, let's see, level 13 learns nothing. Awesome. Articuno, that's fun. Um, I'm gonna give Chester a shot. Let's go, Chester. Let's go, Chester. Chester's joining. Chester's joining the squad. We're downloading. Is that a special attack boost? It's an attack boost. Okay, that's fine though. See, what's cool since it's since it's a uh, let's play, we have nor we have physical and special moves, and I'm always gonna keep it like that because this is a normal stab boosted tackle. Look at that damage, Chester. Chester. Insanity, Chester. Insanity. Articuno drops like nothing to this golden duck. 520 experience. Chester grows level 11. What are you learning? Where's your side attack? Oh, no, no, side attack. Try attack. Losing to you means I have a lot to learn. Wow, that was offensive. You just called me dumb, but you're dumber. So learning to use items well is definitely important then. Oh, here, Shady. I'll give you these berries. Orin berries. We're about to snack. We're about to use those. Snack on those. 100%. That's it. Well, good luck then. That's all you're going to do. Do any of you guys want to give me items? Wait, if I take the quiz, am I going to get some good items? I didn't get to read it because the text boxes are all messed up. Okay. Which of the Pokemon allows uh, awakening? Oh, we get a full heal. Okay, that's good. That was a good quiz to take. 100%. I don't want to hold the B, but when my Pokemon's evolving. And I already spoke to some lady about TMs. I don't want to hear it twice. Let's go buy some potions. Uh, oh, there's the gym leader. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm a little nervous wreck. I'm a little nervous wreck. We're going to go with nine potions. We're pretty broke now. We are pretty broke. So let's heal up our squad before we get into this gym. Oh, we could sell the Sacred Ash. Let's see what Sacred Ash sells for. I want to find out if it does sell just for the one or uh, if it's more than that. I'm going to heal Gengar one more time. Oh, man. Our Pokemon are so weak. Our Pokemon are so weak. We really need to step it up. $100. I will take it. It's better. I'd rather have 100 bucks in my pocket. I'd rather have half a potion than Sacred Ash. More like Sacred Trash. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put Zordon out front, actually. Zordon needs to... You are Stab Psychic. We need you to to step it up. Yes, yes. I am a gym leader of this town. You are. Right. You want to challenge the gym? In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Oshawott, I see. I see. It's weak against grass-type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. He's like a he's like a scary magician guy. That's, that's what I picture him as. All right, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. I could use all the water I can get. I really can? Okay, here we go. I think we're supposed to do what beats it. So water beats fire. Yay, we did it. And of course we will fight you. We will battle you with our Pokemon. So this is episode four and we are in our first gym. First gym, is that slow? Maybe a little, maybe a little, but we don't rush here on Trade Penguin. We have a freaking Staraptor. Top gun out the gate. What is Zordon gonna do? Honestly. Wow, we are so Ooh, Zordon is gonna intimidate this Staraptor. 
So Party wants to go into the Gengar, but I can't touch you, so that's going to Henderson. That's the thing that sucks about not having a dark type move yet, is that I, I can't hit the normal types, even though I'd be immune to the normal moves. So I want to go out into him. We're going to see a straight up growl. That's unfortunate. We could have just confusioned you. Okay, I'm going to go for a scratch. Tackle does six damage. It is stab, even though it's intimidated. And it looks like for us, uh, scratch is going to be a three hit KO, but I'm going to have to slack off now. I'm going to have to slack off. Henderson! Look at that awkward toe. It's weird how, like, that should be, like, it looks like that's your big toe. That that little portion right there, but it's... It, 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 pretty sure that should be where your, like, little toe is. If, if, I, if I were to lay like that... Oh, no, my big toe... My big toe would be there. Yeah, never mind. My big toe would be there. That is anatomically correct. I thought it was incorrect. Okay, so we're going to be truant it again. We see a quick attack. And uh, we're going to go for one more scratch, and hopefully that's enough, because I really don't feel like doing the whole dance, the whole nine again. Oh, my goodness. We got to do the whole nine. Ooh, and this Thraptor does have wing attack, so Gengar would not have had a good time. Now, I don't want to use Slack Off, but realistically, it is the... Ooh! It is the smartest thing for us to do. Because I'm not trying to waste potions unnecessarily. We only have 10 right now. Uh, if even, actually, I think we only have eight right now. Oh my gosh, and now we're getting critted. Okay, now I have to just scratch you and get rid of you before you take me out. As much as I want to keep slacking off, I can always go back to the wild and slack off against that, which I'm probably going to do. I'm trying to win this without losing any Pokemon, boys. That's kind of the goal. That's kind of the goal. I want to beat this gym without losing any Pokemon. Writer Jonathan, a man after my own name, and you're giving me that hard of a time? That is unbelievable. Okay. Henderson, you're going to go out front real quick. You're going to go out front, and we are going to go fight a wild Pokemon and heal you up. We're going to heal you up real good. Real good. Because if we can beat this gym leader, if we can get through our first gym without losing any Pokemon, and then we get a fifth in, we get a fifth squad member on the next grass, that is going to set us up for some sweet, some sweet steady training. Let me tell you. Okay. Level six, so we could just slack off. I don't think you're gonna do too much. Maybe you'll even growl against me. That would be dope. This little gold duck here. 60 HP. There's the water gun. How much you do? Four. Okay. I'm fine with that. We can we can go back to the gym now. With this this level of health. Let's let's put Sword on back out there since Nappy's let me down by not learning a new move. Um yeah, really, really disappointed in you, Nappy. I'm not gonna lie. I should probably just focus on Nappy and uh Henderson. Uh, and just do the two, but it's all good. Okay, so what beats water? Grass! I know my Pokey Basics. Okay, back to Pokey Basics. Here we go, she wants to battle me too, that's fine. That's fine! The specialty of Striatin Gym, the full course Trainer Deluxe. I'm your second course. Wow. She sounds pretty darn confident if you ask me. Pretty darn confident with that Purloin. Uh, Purloin most likely has Pursuit. We're going to see Limber. Purloin most likely has Pursuit. We're going to go out into Henderson. We're going to go right out into Henderson. Uh, if I hadn't... If I had... Why well, can't I think of the name? It's not an Evo Stone. What the heck is the stone that Porygon holds? My brain... I mean, I know I didn't wake up too long ago, but I've been up for a little while. I had a healthy breakfast and some fish oil. I should be able to remember these things. I definitely should be able to remember these things. Wismer? We'll go back on to Zordon. I think I'm gonna let Zordon try to attack this Wismer. It's just a normal type. What can it really do to me? Uh, will I regret this? Potentially, but honestly, I don't want to. Soundproof. I hope you have only sound-based moved. I will be so happy. Here's the confusion. Let's see how much this does. Okay. You got a pound. 23 to 13. Yeah, that's too much damage. That's way too much damage. Ah! What a waste, Zordon. What a waste. It stinks, because, like, Zordon is definitely not going to be of any help in this gym. He's just not going to be of any help. But I want to use these trainer battles for getting as much experience as possible throughout my team. Hibachi! Woo! Oh, thank you. Wow. Okay. So, I think... Hmm... I guess I'm going to use a potion on Zordon because I'm nervous. 
and I'd really like Zordon to live and gain enough experience to evolve at some point. Here we go, our first gym battle. Welcome to Striaton City Pokemon Gym. Ah. Oh, and Chili, how are things up with fire type Pokemon? I'm a water type specialist and my name is Crass. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is Seven. I like grass type Pokemon. I can't remember what I did for his voice already. Um, you see, as for why the three of us um, are all here is well, um, oh, enough, listen up. The three of us will, will, three of us will decide whom you will battle with. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you first chose was a water type, it seems. Nothing personal, no hard feelings. Me and my grass type Pokemon will, um, we're gonna battle, come what may. Okay, so we're gonna battle right now. I'm jump. I'm just jumping right in. So, um, if you're okay with me, I'll uh, put everything I've got into our being, you know, her opponent. <laughs> well, let's see how it goes. Arms, hands behind his head, disrespectful. I'll put everything into being your opponent and then you're doing that? Disrespectful. Luxio, an electric type Pokemon, tells me to prepare for grass types because I chose a water type and still brings what I'm weak to. Rivalry. Okay, so our damage is both increased right now. Uh, I still think the smartest thing to do is to swap out into Henderson. How great would it have been if that was Intimidate if, instead of Rivalry? There's that Leer. Okay, so we know he's going to hit Henderson a little bit harder because of Rivalry. Uh, let's go for a Scratch. I could have I could have Encored you. Oh, but it's a crit as I itch my right eyeball. Wow. I'm not complaining. I am not complaining about that. Zordon grows to level 12. L learns teleport. Thank you so much. A drift blim. <laughs> this is ac This is actually worst case scenario. <sighs> okay. Um I think Chester's are actually our best bet. Cause I've I faced a drift limb in the wild before. Uh down on route two. And it almost bodied my Gengar. Gengar lived on three HP and I never ran faster. So I'm pretty upset. Please get special attack boost. Ah, darn it. Okay. I'm gonna just gonna go for side beams. Oh no. This is just gonna be rough, man, because I know that Drifflem has Gust and has some sort of ghost type move. Some sort of ghost type move. I don't know what it is, but it's something. And it, it will body my Gengar. Ah, my Pokemon. What I really need to do is confuse this thing as soon as possible. As soon as possible, I need to confuse this thing. Ooh, kill him, slay him. That's not a confusion, come on. Chester, pull through. How much is Gust gonna do? It's stab. 35 to 25, so 10 damage. I think I, think I was at 35. I'm shocked we just landed another side beam. Okay, trying to snag that crit. We're landing side beams! Do not use a potion. As long as this first gym leader doesn't use a potion, I think we can actually break through this. I, I thought this was gonna be so much worse and now I just jinxed myself. Okay, um, let's heal Chester up. At this point, I honestly want you to go for minimizes. Never in my wildest dreams would I ever have pictured me saying that. 33 to 23, okay. So I beam it up. There's another gust. No! Come on! I, I honestly don't think I can win this. It's gonna come down to Gengar actually knocking this thing out with a lick. Ralts would immediately faint, so there's no reason to do it. It would just be wasting a Pokemon. I'm just gonna go for a lick. And we miss, and there's the Astonish. Gengar, I need you to land this. Yes! No! Yes! Yes! Yes? No! Oh no. This is really bad. I'm gonna heal up. I'm so pissed we lost Chester. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. There's that full para. 
Okay, here we go. There's that Gust. Gust is not super effective anymore. Like, it's not the other move, so it's fine. It's only doing 10. Gengar, focus. Nappy, focus with that tongue. I know you got... <sighs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, Nappy. Nappy, I don't want to lose you. I do not. I'm doing everything I can right now. I'm doing everything I can. Oh, no. Okay. 14 damage. No! Oh my gosh, I'm so angry right now! Because slacking literally can't touch you. Slacking cannot touch you. You know, if it wasn't for those double teams, we would be golden right now. We would seriously be golden. Oh my gosh, we're using so many potions. I really hope we're gonna have enough cash after this to do some work. Where's the full power, man? I'm begging for, I'm begging for a full power right now. I really am. Please just get fully paralyzed. Please. Please. Astonished. We're, we're not getting any full powers. Nappy's tongue is checking out. I have to just go for it. No, I'm not going for it yet. I'm healing one more time. I'm healing one more time. Because this is getting me to full HP right here. You're going to get fully paralyzed right here. Oh my gosh. We got to go for it now. It can't move. There's the full power, even though we missed. No. I'm so screwed, I'm so screwed, I'm so screwed. I don't want to lose my starter. Yeah, that did nothing. That did nothing. Lick! Stop missing! Nappy! Focus! Come on. Soul linked. Soul linked. Come on, Nappy. I I really I, I soul linked. Soul linked. Stop it! And he has Aftermath. And he has Aftermath. I could have just sacrificed Zordon. I could have just sacrificed Zordon. To take him out. I'm going for Confusion. And we miss. And there's the Astonish. And there goes Zordon. There's the Aftermath. And we beat our first gym leader by sacrificing... <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys know I don't read text after something like that. <sighs> Roar of time. I'm pretty sure Slacking is going to be able to learn that. Oh my goodness. <sighs> we just got, we just got annihilated. We just got destroyed. That was absolute destruction. <clears throat> hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. Is it a brand new team? Because I'll, I'll gladly take it. I'll gladly take a brand new team. You're going to meet all the Pokemon in the Nova region, am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. My room is upstairs here. Come on, go stairs. We're getting invited to our room. We just met. This is crazy. So like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. Oh, so I'll give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. I don't think I have anyone that can use cut, you know? There are some moves that a Pokemon can use even when it is not fighting. With this hidden machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move called cut. It can cut down a small tree, and you can use the hidden machine as many times as you like. Like a TM. Isn't that great? 
but it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it lands it. And I'd like to ask you a favor too. There is a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Striaton City. I'd like some of the Dream Mist that a Pokemon there called Muna gives off. With that, I'll be able to use GameSync to collect saved data of various trainers. Well, I couldn't give two craps about your Dream Yard, my friend. Really couldn't care less. All I want to do right now is box my Pokemon. Well, before we box them, let's see if anyone can learn cut. So 50 power, 95 accuracy. Henderson can learn it. All right, well, that's stab anyway, and we'll teach it to you for now because it's stronger than scratch. Uh, yes, I want to keep you on, especially now that I need to catch every good Pokemon possible. So let's deposit our Pokemon. We don't just, I, I jinxed myself. I said, I wanted to get through this gym, gym leader, this gym, by losing a single Pokemon. And what do I do? I lose all of them. And like, it's not even, I don't even know if it's my fault. That's the problem. Like, what did I do? Should I have known that it was Aftermath and just gone out into Ralts after getting a couple licks off and that was it? Maybe, but like, how am I supposed to know that? It could have, it could have I was literally thinking I'm burdened the whole time. <laughs> it could have anything. Oh man, wow. Gengar. Zordon! And our newest member, Chester. Dang, dude. Well, honestly, we're gonna have to start the next one off by catching a new Pokemon uh, and then working our way to the Dream Yard. I have to buy more potions. I have to buy more potions. Ooh, we can buy a bunch of things now, fun. Well, we're gonna buy potions. We're gonna buy 10 of them and get go broke again. There we go. That's that's the breaks. And we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to show some shady love to that thumbs up down below because we don't know how long this series is gonna be here considering how terribly our luck was today or how terrible our luck was today. That With that though, I'm gonna get the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a fantastic day, but above all else, keep it shady.